Uh-oh. Are there even bigger ones on the way? You see, Kinich? I'm a man of my word. In fact, I'd say I under-promised and over-delivered. Nifty little gizmo, isn't it? I take it this is your true form? Now that our deal is complete, it's time to start the next phase of our relationship. I made a promise to the great Kahula Howe, and now I'm here to seize your body for his use. Cliché, I know. The hero's trusted partner sells him out to the Abyss in a shocking act of betrayal. Cue bad guy speech and drawn out death sequence. Huh? Angel? Huh? Huh? What are you two doing here? Oh, Mr. Kinich, this is not what we agreed on. Traveler, this is the gift I got you. I know you're looking for intel on the Abyss Order, so I thought he might be of use to you. But it looks like you've already met. Yikes. Frosty reception. Gotta say, I kinda pictured this moment going a little differently. Tears of joy welling up in your eyes as you say the words, It's good to see you again, old friend. Don't be ridiculous! Sounds like you've been reading too many romance novels! There we have it. Change is inevitable and nothing lasts forever. What a pity. Well then, time for you to meet the new me. This time, please call me Sanka. Sanka! Aha! So you're a glasses guy! You tricked Huni and Toba into telling you a bunch of stories! What does it matter? A name is a superficial label. It's what's deep down inside that counts. And I've shown you the deepest parts of me. That would explain a lot. Why else would you show up here and start acting like a wise guy? You looking for a fight? Eh, I'll pass. I do rather like you, as I've said before. But my one quibble is that you really don't know your own strength. Wait. Of course! You're the one behind all the recent Abyss activity! Let Paimon guess, you've been provoking the Mountain King too! Haven't I told you before? I'm not part of the inner circle who do our Highness's bidding. My interests are far more low stakes. I spend my time digging for truth in ancient doodads and books. You really think a benchwarmer like me is capable of more than that? I investigated him. He's not connected to the recent events. Just happens to be in the area. So, I struck a deal with him. He helps me summon a rift. I allow him to do some... historical research. But that's all over. And now Kinich wants to hand me over to you. Well, I was hoping this would be an opportune moment to whisk away his body. That would have given me some more time to study the great Kahula Hao. But now I've run into you, which is just my luck. Or maybe I've incited the wrath of the Turnfire, and this is the price I have to pay. But I don't understand. What did I do wrong? Wait, does that count? Hmm, let me think. Uh, how? You are the worst of the worst! Colluding with the Abyss Order against Kinich? How could you betray your partner? Uh, there is no betrayal! The Almighty Dragon Lord Kahula How is a partner to no one! Don't worry, I told him to act as bait. Yes, and you should have picked a bigger fish! The Abyss Order? Ha! <laughs> What a joke. Not even a match for our lowly servant. I put up with this toad's croaking for days, and it was all for nothing! It looks like your disciplinary measures have been less than effective, Mr. Enjo. Ah, uh, what did you expect? Behavioral rehab isn't really our thing. Otherwise, we might as well change our name from the Abyss Order to the Abyss Boarding School. The abysmal disorder would suit you better. 
Uh, Kanish! Dispose of him! He is of no further use to us! Traveler? Hey now, I may be a lowly clerk, but don't underestimate me! I could never beat you in a straight-up fight, but when it comes to running away, I won't lose to anyone! Do me a favor, and remember how fast I disappear! Maybe then you'll show me a little respect next time. Darn! He got away again! Couldn't you have stopped him? It's alright. He's not worth our time and energy. Besides, it seems like he's in debt to a lot of people. I'm sure they'll keep him busy. If you say so. Still, Paimon's kind of surprised that you actually struck a deal with someone from the Abyss Order. To borrow that guy's words, names are superficial labels. Whether you call it the Abyss Order or anything else, it's a broad generalization at best. Think of it like apples that have fallen from a tree. If you tasted each one, you'd find that they're all at different stages of ripening. Even the unripe fruit blown off its branch before it's fully grown can still be brewed into a fine wine. Everything has its use. Huh. Well, in that specific sense, maybe Enjo's not such a bad apple. Not rotten to the core, at least. Of course! Only the almighty Dragon Lord, Kahul Ahau, is rotten to the core and evil beyond redemption! Ugh. So what exactly are you anyway? You're definitely the evilest little thing Paimon's ever met! Don't worry. He can't hurt a fly. <laughs>